Here we are, it's May 3rd. A little bit of a garden update. The onions are starting to pop out of the ground, those that I planted that were little uh, seed bulbs. We're not doing irrigation, it was kind of dry when I got here, but I hit it with a couple of good doses of water for the week. Collard greens are growing pretty vigorously here. Um, I'm gonna pick some in a second. And in fact, uh, some is starting to flower. Let's see, if this one's going to seed. I might just trim that off. I don't know that it's going to help keep it uh, um, sort of leafing and growing vigorously, but I don't think it's going to hurt. I want to see if I can keep the energy going into leaf production as opposed to seeds. The potatoes are coming in. Got some right here. Just poking out. And then we got some down here. A little slower than um, a little further south. Growing some potatoes in pots down there, and they're coming out pretty quick, but that's probably because they're out of the ground and the whole pot can warm up. The uh, kale continues to grow well. may have to thin that at some point. On the other hand, I might just try without thinning this year. See what happens. The radishes. They're taking off. The carrots did not come up. I wonder if uh, they got a poorly timed frost. The frost certainly killed a couple of my uh, squash seedlings that I planted, but I got seeds down there. I just got to hope that uh, they uh, germinate soon. I'm hoping in the next week we begin to see them coming out. So that's the garden update. Here's Sasha, my garden helper. And then uh, my collard green harvest. Here's the uh, collard green flower. And these young collard green uh, greens are edible fresh because they're so tender. When you get them young like this, you can just pop them in your mouth. That's pretty good, Sasha, right? Some uh, wild turkey in the back field there. You can just see them uh, at the top of the hill or above the top of the hill, probably 300 yards back into the dirt there. Two sizable wild turkeys and then I think a hen. And then down below, just near the grass line, or at least the prairie line, you see a wild goose just munching away on some food there in the grass. 